Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Today, I want to show you three watches that are significantly more complicated than a Rolex Submariner, but cost just about the same or less than the current value of a pre-owned ceramic sub. And I want to show you how far your dollar can go. Now, there's watches here in every category, but they need to be more complicated and less expensive. The first one we're going to start with is the Glasute Original Senator Carré Perpetual Calendar Big Date. Yes, guys, you heard that correctly. Perpetual Calendar. This is not a traditional case shape. It's part of their Carré um line and as you can see we have the day date um sorry the date the the day the month the perpetual indicator the big double disc date which is a glasute iconic feature and the moon phase in a perpetual calendar setup it's 35 by 45 millimeters it is automatic with a gold surrounded rotor that is finished in glasute ribbing and it is hand finished and it is a grand complication, an automatic perpetual calendar for under $12,000 by a fully in-house brand. How can you beat it? I'm not so sure, but let me just try it on on the wrist there. As I said, 35 by 45 millimeters, anybody with a 7.6 inch wrist or below should be able to wear this watch beautifully. I love this tuxedo style dial the stepped case with the both um, high polish and brushed finish. This watch with the Tang Buckle Glossute Original is incredible value for money. I mean, we have a grand complication here under the price of an automatic assembly line finished Submariner. Pretty hard to beat. Now, moving along to something even quirkier and independent, we have an 18 karat gold Carlo Ferrara uh, Zafiro Regolatore. So this is a regulator watch with a very complicated system. The hands swing around the dial. As you can see here, that is the minute notice and the hours. Very cool. It's even got the date. As you can see, that is entirely made in-house by Carlo Ferrara. Um, this watch is limited to 200 pieces. It is solid 18 karat gold. It is 42 millimeters. It has an 18 karat gold buckle and an 18 karat gold case back. So you know they didn't skimp at all. You've got an independently made regulator with running seconds and date in a 42 millimeter case. So uh, excuse me, the camera's a little close here, so it's hard to show, but it fits rather well uh, on my wrist. As you can see, it is extremely highly decorated. We have the Geneva striping there, and you can see the open work mechanism of the cams that Carlo Ferrara made for this watch. Signed crown, drilled lug holes, screws, solid 18 karat gold, and all this for under $8,000. For the simple reason that Carlo Ferrara never really blew up in, in anonymity, but this is one hell of a high-end watch. Now, last but not least, uh, we have the Grand Seiko 135th Anniversary Limited Edition High Beat GMT with one of those crazy dials, a textured dial, which is very hard to capture on camera. This is also Limited Edition to 500 pieces, Zeratsu polish. It even has this crazy, colorful rotor which is very, very interesting. It is 40 millimeters. It's got the date. The movement is of a higher quality. It is a high beat rate. It's a GMT as well. And it has that burgundy textured dial. All this for under $8,000 as well. About $4,000 less than a sub. Pretty darn hard to beat if you ask me. And look at that. It fits me like a glove. Yeah, guys, as you can see, there's a lot of value to be had in this price range. You're going to have to excuse the camera setup. My macro lens uh, is actually currently being repaired. But we have the Grand Seiko. We have 
the Glasuta, and we have the Carlo Ferrara, all fantastic value for money. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.